what what will happen to install them is you're going to the properties of the the device go to driver update drivers and you can either do search automatically and it will hopefully find it on your computer or browse my computer and just go to where you saved the uh, download and it should work after that and you'll either have the USB EMP audio device or there'll be another one don't worry what one it is or it'll either be that or I think it's called like line 2 um, or something like that but as long as you got one sort of audio device there's two different ones um, first time I installed it I had a different one and then it messed up so I did it again and I've got this one but it works fine it doesn't matter what but the capture card should be something like this so that's that so hopefully once it's all working you should have that open up your ArcSoft Total Media Showbiz I'll just turn my Xbox on so it will come up with something like this obviously you won't have all this in here because you wouldn't have recorded before and to capture go into capture your Xbox if you turn your Xbox on and you it will be feeding into your um, capture card and it will go on here and you want to select your source which is um, your WD M2861 capture card I just want to take the sound out of that and that there we go right so you want that then you want your composite video or if you've got S video which you would have you would have plugged in um you would have known if you got an S video it's a bit better quality it's all in one lead to plug it into the capture card but it's um it's not it's it's not really that much difference and uh, so you got the composite video you got your line 2 or it'll be something else i'm not sure there's different there's other ones but they will work as long as it's not like that it, as long as it's something different and then just master volume i don't really know what that's for um if it didn't work like if you put plugged in your capture card after you came onto here click refresh and it will hopefully be under there so the best quality settings go to device settings and if you if it's in black and white over on your screen or something else then um the then try out all these i think it's ntsc 433 but c cam works as well you got you got all the pals um C cams. I don't know, but I found that that was the one that worked for me because I tried all of them, and that was the only one. And I think you want 525 lines detected, so that will be how you know. But you'll just keep clicking OK, and if it comes up in color, it works, and it should be one signal. I don't know what that's for, but I don't. It didn't really do anything for me when I changed it. So um, that's that. Now the best um, quality settings. Brightness you want around 110. Contrast you want around between 30 and for uh, about 35. I got 38. Hue is a uh, 62. Um, saturation 50. Sharpness 10. And that's that. Wait, what was the video? Video image. Oh yeah, and you want your um that. You want black to be clicked and you want it one from the uh, one from the left side and you want your that clicked that clicked um so that's that so you have your your uh, thing plugged in um so to cap you can set a time on how to capture you can that's obviously to capture that's to take a snapshot which you can also click the button on the easy cap um thing but it's a bit I, I don't know why you would want that full screen so this is for people who didn't want the splitters but you will see what I mean by you'll get a delay between when you press the button on the controller and when you um want to actually play when you when you when it actually happens when it comes up on your screen sorry so um and you can make it like medium size by just clicking that one so and it will save as mpeg2 select where you want to save it and then go ahead and click your uh capture so um i will quickly open up a game on afghan or modern warfare 2 and at the end i'll show you the quality settings 
So I'm just going to private match, start again. So you can see it's not bad quality, com like since it only cost you 20 quid compared to Dazzles, which are about 60 quid, and uh, like HD PVRs are much better quality. But I mean, if you're not serious or you're just starting out, like me, then well, I'm serious, but I've only just started out. Then um, you're not going to spend 160 quid on a HD PVR. So hit capture to start capturing it will go black and then it'll come back and here is it's lagging for me a bit because I'm recording but I'll do maybe another one behind the camera later and at the end I'll show you the quality but this is quite hard because I'm playing this on the screen but yeah so this is that's the uh, quality uh, so you stop that then um, it will save under here automatically. Go down. Sorry about this. Wait. All right. So it'll be there. You can play it there. So you see, it's it's pretty good quality for twenty. Well, in the end, it'll cost you about twenty. And I haven't got S video, just so you know, guys. For about twenty three quid, it's not bad quality. So I'm not hiding anything here. I showed you everything I've got for the best qualities I did some research but to edit just drag it into there I find it's easier click timeline and this is not the best editing software I have to admit that but it is the best capturing software for this I've tried other softwares and um it just this is because I think this is like because it comes with it it just oh that sounded wrong because this software comes with your <laughs> because this software comes with your easy cap it just works um better for some reason so you can edit drag it short so that there's no slow motion on this which is the bad thing and um to watch that particular highlighted clip you clip that click that one to watch the whole project you click the double one and you can play it full screen um it's quite bad quality because i'm recording but i'll show you the quality at the end or you can just go and see one of my montages or some one of my other videos because they're all the all used by this apart from my Minecraft ones. And then once you've got your final product, you got your options. Um, go into preferences. I don't know why that wasn't ticked. Go into 16.9. That's where it will save others. You want it always click 1280 by 720 HD to upload it to YouTube. So that's those. Save the current project. Cancel. It's because if you've already had a project and it's on 14.3, when you change to 16.9, it won't um work. So if I delete that and change it over to 16.9, there we go. And drag that on. That should hopefully be it. Yeah, there we go. So you want that because it means um 14 4.3 will have the it won't fit the screen as well 16.9 so you want that um so that's that pretty much to produce click that you can create a dvd create a file or upload it to youtube and when you click that it will save it then it then you type in your youtube details it comes up with where you put in the name of the video the name the description the tags all that stuff and then you just click upload and it takes a while but not too long but you can only do a maximum of 10 minutes with this program even if you're allowed more on YouTube you can only do 10 minutes with this program so um, yeah that is my best quality I've got for you so I will um, upload this to YouTube and you guys can see um, what good or what, what, how good the quality is I just had my intro before and so here is my final product thanks guys for watching and um i'll just quickly show you this so i'll save the file and then when that's done i'll i'll start again when it's done actually so see you in a minute guys do this